It was over 100 years ago that moving pictures were invented, so it shouldn't be a big surprise that they're changing. Yeah, but that change is causing a problem for one small Missouri town. John Batten shows us their story. It's the story of one family who risked it all to live their dream. It's the story of a small town coming together to fight for their way of life. It's the story of the Davis Theater in Higginsville, Missouri. It's kind of a sequel. Fran and George Swarzer have saved the Art Deco Palace from the wrecking ball once already. We had heard that it was going to be raised and it was going to be a parking lot. And that was just not acceptable. So we jumped into it without any knowledge of what we were doing. For 13 years, they've run the place as a break-even proposition and learned as they went. But now they face a new threat. The studios are not going to hang on to 35 millimeter in any way, shape, or form. They're going to convert everything to digital. So even if you want to show old movies, you've got to have digital projection equipment. That upgrade was impossible to pay for. When word got out that the theater would have to close, the townsfolk got organized. There were just a whole bunch of us that decided that's not okay. Thus, the Friends of the Davis Theater 4 was formed. The ragtag rebel group has been fundraising and has even brought the theater into second place nationally in a Reader's Digest contest. But even the first place winnings will only pay for just about half the cost of upgrading the main auditorium. Still, there's too much to lose for them to just give up. A cool theater and I like the popcorn. They hope the digital empire won't close the curtain on a beloved part of their town. John Batten, NBC Action News. Oh, we hope not either. What a great story. We hope it works for them. Now, it's free to vote in the Davis Theater Reader's Digest contest. You'll find the link on our website, NBCXNews.com. Just look under Scene on 41.